Hello there everybody, Richard R. Blaster here from RWA Pat Testing Limited. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Apologies for the noise in the background. If you can hear a tap running, I'm just running the bath after the night shift. Well, a few hours ago anyway. Never mind, I just wanted to fire off this quick video and give a quick shout out to my main man, uh, David Savory, talking about pat testing, what I've just recently been qualified in. Yeah, it's a bit of a a uh, long video but actually very very informative as his videos usually are even though they are a bit profanity ridden but hey ho that's David so I just wanted to give a quick shout out and also I just noticed this I think on the course they were mentioning that this book here Code of Practice for In-Service Inspection and Testing of Electrical Equipment 4th Edition which is a brand new purchase for me, is actually going to be updated. So here we go, go back to the comments here. Let's just scroll down the comments here, which a great comment here from Andrew Sheldon. It's been pinned. So basically everything I know, everything I know is changing a little bit. So there you are, so it's more onus on a risk assessment based approach I reckon that means that instead of having set a retesting period you do a risk assessment on that item you're testing to ascertain whether it, the period it needs to be uh, tested also this is a nice little interesting one new classification of equipment ES1, ES2 and ES3 to go alongside class 1 and 2 now I'm going to go out and purchase a pap tester at the end of the month. Now, does these three new classifications mean that I'd have to have a firmware upgrade on any pap tester I get? Or is it just simply a new interpretation of existing testing? Let me know what you think in the comments below and then also down below oh here we are back again also down below i'll pop a link to david savory's channel and i'll pop a link to that video as well as i say david savory's a great guy go and follow him You've got some very informative videos and hopefully you found this video useful Oops, don't want to use that one, GS, GSH Electrical might sue me for copyright. Anyway, enough of my ramblings, I'll see you all soon, ta-ta for now.